Hey gang, this is Jose with Humboldt and Travel, bringing you a walkthrough of a brand spanking new <clears throat> Catalina 355. Uh, we're going to have Ed Massey kind of give us a nice walkthrough of this beautiful boat uh, so you can understand the, the features. This is a boat that has already been commissioned, so it's ready for sale, has everything done that uh, you wanted to get done with the boat. So we're going to have Ed uh, give us a little walkthrough and show us uh, a Catalina 355. When Catalina introduced the 5 Series, they went to what I would call an enhanced anchor locker. And by that, I mean that they took the space all the way down to the bottom of the hull. That's a huge anchor locker for this size boat. And then what we do is we put 75 feet of 5 16 G4 chain, 175 feet of 5 8 New England rope, and that's our ground tackle. I use a 35 pound Rockna anchor. And if you'll notice, we have the Mantis halyards, uh, the anchor swivel shackle, and we also have sheet stop or the anchor chain stoppers on the foredeck. And then we also have a chain hook as you can see here a mantis chain hook so we feel like this system gives you a very very secure setup on the bow of the boat for your ground tackle if you'll notice there's this line tying the uh, roller throwing drum to the bow pulpit and what that's all about is we're in florida during the storm season and you'll notice that we've taken all these wraps around the head sail we take the sail out we pull it in good and tight take a lot of wraps on it and then tie the, the drum to the uh, bow pulpit so the sail isn't going anywhere no matter how hard it blows. And then moving aft a little bit, uh, Catalinas have always, all their models, and continuing to do so at the 5 Series, they have very wide, uncluttered weather deck. And because the shrouds are drifted inboard to the chain plates, uh, you don't have to duck around anything to move fore and aft. Catalina also uses Selden spars for all of their all their yachts at this point. And on the bottom of the spar, on the port side of the boat, there is engraved into the boat a serial number right here. You can't really see it with the camera, but it's here if you needed it. And it's also in the owner's manual. So if you ever have a problem with any of the items attached to the Selden mast, if you'll call Selden in the USA and give them that serial number, they have information on every piece of hardware that they attach to this mast and they can help you. That's a very nice feature. Something else I want to talk about for just a moment is how the boat is stayed. Now it's popular for boats to basically, a lot of the French boats in particular, and it's not, it's not bad, it's just not as good as this in terms of how the mast is stayed. If you'll notice there's a lower, a lower, an upper, and a mid intermediate, and you also have twin, not, I mean true twin backstays, not just backstays that come down to a bridle and then split. This is Twin backstays, so you've got eight stays, port and starboard here. You've got two uh, backstays, so that's 10. And you've got a heavy-duty head stay, that's 11. So there's 11 attachment points on this Catalina 355, as well as the other Catalina 5 Series boats that make this mast very, very stable. Uh, knocking down a Catalina spar would be truly difficult. And you'll notice the triangulation between the uppers, the upper and the intermediate, and the lowers is very good triangulation and triangles are what ultimately hold a mast up. So this is a superior system, time proven, and something that's going to give you a lot of confidence when you're out in tough weather. Another thing Catalina did on all the 5 Series boats is they made the stanchions higher so that you don't have to bend over like this to go forward and hang on to the lifeline. You can stand up straight and move forward very comfortably. Another thing I want to show on this boat is I took this what they call a clear step system and you'll notice these uh, Schaefer blocks going from, from the furling to the little Schaefer spring block and then these Schaefer blocks moving all the way aft to these little blocks on either side of the boarding gate coming back to a Lumar rope clutch going through a Harkin ratchet block back to the cleat give you full control of the head sail when you're say you're reefing and you want to pull the sail in some coming through this rope clutch the sail can't get away from you and it just it's not going to happen so this is opens up the weather deck very nicely for movement on the weather deck and it provides a lot of safety when you're furling the sail or reefing the sail i'm going to set up all my stock boats from now on this way i'm, I'm really happy with it now another thing that is notable with the Catalina is how they have very wide traveler for the the main sheet for the mainsail and they also have very long Genoa tracks on the side of the boat so if you're a good sailor say you're a performance sailor and you want to be able to really trim the sails and get the most out of your suit of sails with this setup with the wide traveler 
And by the way, the traveler lines are on the same side of the boat. So you don't have to pull a line here and go over here and pull a line. They're right here together. It's a it's a better mouse trap, as they say. And then you can see everything is led through these Lumar rope clutches. And we, of course, um, label everything so that it's very easy to know what line this each one of these sheep stopper goes to. So again, it's really important that you have long Genoa tracks and a wide main sheet traveler. The other thing Catalina does is they have two cars on each of the Genoa tracks so that you can set the aft car on the ideal angle coming back to the winch and the forward car if you look forward that can be moved um, you know so that you get the the ideal angle trim angle on the Genoa. I'm thinking about on this boat I may put the uh, movable cars that you would find on usually on race boats just because this boat is such a good performing boat. I'm still thinking about that but I'll probably do it. The VHF radio goes here. We have a full suite of Garmin Navo navigation electronics. I always get a 12 inch plotter for our boats and they're just so much easier to see and work with. We love this Garmin equipment. Raymarine's very good also. And at Catalina you can choose either Raymarine or Garmin. Uh, the autopilots, the Garmin autopilot faces have grown a little bit in size so we've had to go from the normal size pod to a little wider pod to accommodate this head. Also I've been putting valve thrusters on all of my boats that you know, we either buy for stock or special order. Everybody gets a bow thrust, even on the 315. And the truth is, most of our cruising and sailing is done shorthanded, and that bow thrust is worth another crew member on board when it comes time to dock the boat and maybe you have a crosswind. Now, there's a very large locker, and I'll move over to this side and open it for you. There's a large gull wing locker here. As you can see, very easy to access. It has gas shocks to help lift it up. We put all of our canvas in here for this video, but you can see that um, we've got here the converter. We also have a dedicated battery. The battery's right under here uh, for the engine start. And there's a goodly amount of space. The filler for the seat uh, between the two lazarettes lives here most of the time. Hardly anybody ever puts that in place. You'll notice that the finish is, it's finished on both sides, the inside on the outside. Back in the day, you'd have one rough surface and one finished surface. That's all changed, of course, in modern times. you notice the, the deep scuppers so that water isn't going, if you take a wave or you're washing the boat, water won't splash into that uh, sail locker area. I've always bought these cockpit tables with all my Catalinas. Catalina does a great job with them. Very low maintenance. There's room in here for drinks or just whatever you want. Maybe you throw in a bag of ice and put some cold drinks in there. You've got cup holders, of course. And when you're sailing, you'll notice that your feet have something to, to brace against should you be healed a bit. This is where the VHF uh, ram mic goes. So it's right there at the helm. And of course, you'll notice the, the uh, wheel that folds out this nice Lumar wheel. Well, I wish I'd been the one that thought of that. So when you're sailing, you've got, you can have an oversized wheel for this size boat. When you're not sailing, you fold it up and you can walk around the cockpit very easily. There's a little night lights on the boat as well. That's a standard item from Catalina. I'll close this and see how easy it all is. If you'll notice, standing at the helm in Jose's cameras looking forward from the helm, you'll notice there is no distortion uh, in the radius of the Dodger windshield. That's polycarbonate and that's the only material I found that won't have any distortion in the radius. It's a fantastic product. And what we do with our Dodgers is we bring them back all the way to just about the end of the Genoa track so that if you're in foul weather, you've got a real safe spot here. We also add a prop post here, which is not normal, and that gives you a handhold here a handhold here, a handhold here, and then because um, we don't use any nylon webbing to hold our bimini's up, each one of these frames becomes a handhold, as well as, of course, the stern rail. We think this is probably the safest cockpit in the industry, bar none. And all the Catalina 5 Series boats are set up this way. The very early ones didn't have the stern pulpits going to the boarding gates, but after a few years, they went ahead and made that standard on all the boats and it was a great idea. This of course is a mainsail trim window. If you're sailing you can look through this but we went one better. This, and I've shown this in other videos, this unzips and actually comes up 
to about here. It folds up and then zips on the top. And that allows you to step onto the boat without having to duck at all. And then if you take both sides all the way to these zippers, then you have a true T-top where you don't need to remove the center connecting panel at all. You just roll it up, zip it, and you have a T-top so you can enjoy a sunny day. Uh, you can, If it's a pretty day like today, you can see your sails clearly uh, without having to remove this. And this is an exclusive with us as well. The other thing we do that's a little bit unique is this center panel, a lot of center, well, all center panels, virtually all of them unzip. We, we have a track here and as you can see a, a zipper so we unzip that unzip this unzip this we pull the panel back you can't roll up polycarbonate so we pull the panel back and we have hold back strap that click onto these these little d-rings and actually uh, it'll just hold this center panel nice and flat up here and you get a real nice breeze through the boat another thing we do on all of our boats and i think most everybody does is this is an electric sail handling winch so all all the lines coming to these sheet stoppers, of course, you can operate with this winch. Or if you want lines over here, you simply take a turn so that it's a fair lead back over to this winch. So this winch actually will hoist uh, all these lines or pull up all the lines on both sides of the companionway. All of our companionways are treated. We, we remove the the companionway doors. I have blanks that I've built that fit in into this space while we're treating the doors. And we pull these off, take off all the hardware, I mean really strip the door, and then sand it, sand it so it's just smooth as can be. We take blue tape and cover up the, the uh, plexiglass, and then we treat it with uh, four coats CETOL gloss and one coat of CETOL clear. And with the companionway cover, generally these doors won't have to be touched for years and years. And at the end of this, I'll go ahead and put all the canvas back on so you can see how all that fits together as well. The propane locker on this boat, again, Catalina did a sterling job. Propane locker accommodates two 10 pound bottles. And you can see where there's a good tight fit. These aren't gonna move around. And then over on this side is a large lazarette locker quite deep as you can see. And also as you can see there's a hot and cold freshwater washdown when you come up out of the water. That's where the washdown is. Uh, the poodle catcher falls in right here. Well I'll show you how it works. Ever, ever so clever again. Poodle catcher lives right here. This opens up like so and then we will put it in place. Easy peasy. There you go. That'll keep things from rolling out of the cockpit when you're out sailing. All the engine instruments on the Catalinas are mounted in a place that's easy to get to. Fuel tank. These are electric, uh, they're keyless ignitions, which I think just about everybody's gone to at this point. You'll notice there's a repeater, the Garmin repeaters, on both a port and starboard. And that'll give you most of the info. Well, it'll give you all the same information we saw below when we toggled through the uh, pages on the repeater down below. The emergency tiller goes right here should you ever need it. But with this below decks autopilot, in fact, those four carriage bolts there are the attachment point for the autopilot ram. Very robust ram. So you've really got three steering systems. Wheel, the autopilot and the emergency tiller should push come to shove, you'd, you'd still be able to get there. You wouldn't like it, but you could get there. The winches were placed in such an area that you could easily, with a good winch handle, you can have the steering wheel here, you're watching the jib, and you can tweak it right here. And the other thing that you'll notice is I'm sitting up about six or seven inches higher than the folks sitting in the cockpit seat. And that was another pretty meaningful change on the 5 Series boat. The idea was this is a social area. This is the helm area. And I think most of us, if we even if we take friends out that maybe sail a little bit, they're not so involved. So if we can do every the helmsman can do just about everything, so much the better. And this Catalina is set up as the all the five series boats are to be single handed if you really needed to. And if that's what you want to do. That's pretty much the walkthrough on the interior and the exterior of the boat and we'll take a two second break while i put all the canvas back on and we'll show you how that how that looks also well, there you have a boat folks thank you ed that's a lot of great information uh, on the catalina 355 every time i uh, come to one of those boats with ed i, I learned uh, a new tidbit of information that uh, i didn't know before uh, and i'm very familiar with this boat so uh, it's nice to you know get into the finer details of the the catalina mindset for the construction and quality and how they're uh, keeping the, the cruiser in mind as they uh, design and build their boat. I've marked these, which one goes where. Now I'm going to open up the center panel of the windshield cover. 
So if you imagine yourself at the dock, you're in the slip, bow to, you want the breeze, but you want some privacy, there you have it. Uh, once these get set up at the correct tension, then you don't have to go through all this adjusting that I just did. And the other thing we do is we like to cover everything. You'll notice how the instruments are all covered, the fodder is covered. And now we want to cover sheet stoppers, the rope clutches. They've got labels on them. We want to keep everything out of the weather. We put the snaps down, the four snaps here, the two snaps at the bottom when you're away from the boat. And the boat is just about completely buttoned up. The other thing we do, and I'll do this real quickly just so we're kind of finishing up here, is we have the T-top that I talked about earlier. The idea is whatever side of the boat your finger pier is on, why not make it easy to come in on, on and off the boat without having to bend down all the time? And I'll show you just how quick and easy that is. Now I don't have to bend down at all to come into the cockpit. That's position one. If we took it to position two, this would come to right here, same on the other side, and then we would have full visibility of our mainsail. Here's our latest latest thing we did. Small, always a nuance here. We put a zipper down low on this, this panel here, so this couldn't just flop around. And so this is captured up here and down here. And yet here's your here's your handhold. On the 355, 315, and 385, our standard uh, tubing is one inch here, one inch here, one and a quarter inch as you go aft. So we vary it a little bit. And the reason we do it that way, if solar panels wanted to go on this boat with that one and a quarter inch tubing, we can go ahead and build the frames as, as we've shown on other boats, put the center, uh, put the panels right up and not have to make any other alterations. It's quite easy and we've already got it set up for that. You notice there's a nice crown in the tubing, in the frames, and that keeps the water flowing off the boat pretty well. So that's pretty much wraps up our, our walkthrough of the interior and the exterior of the Catalina 355. If you want more information on one of these boats, please contact me directly, Ed Massey, at 941-725-2350, or email me at edwardm at masseyyacht.com. If you found this video informational and of interest, and you want to view many other videos that we're doing, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, Catalina yachts are uniquely American with a strong focus on performance, safety, at sea and enduring value. They are overbuilt and underpriced and that's why Catalina Yacht are the sailor's choice. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon in another video.